I love stuff like this. It's so fresh. I don't even know what to Tangy. do with myself right now. This is so good, y'all. I'm so happy. <laughs> Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, nah, this ain't no clickbait. Hey guys, hey guys, it's Steph and Tasha and we're back with another video. I'm sorry. <laughs> we are back with another video. If you're new here, thank you for checking us out. Please, oh, I forgot what I was saying because I'm so hungry. <laughs> if you're new here, thank you for subscribing and welcome to the family. So today you guys, we're doing Americans Try Brazilian Food. And as you guys know, we've already been here. While we eat the food, we also discuss the culture, what we've learned. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment, let us know what you guys think. And um, and, and if you're new here, that's why I'm doing this because I'm, I'm so hungry and I'm ready to eat. And Stephanie likes to talk for a long time and I just want to get to the food. Okay, so let's get into the video. All right, guys. Hold on. Okay. Okay, come on. Do you want to pork me? No, go tell them what you want to tell them. Go ahead. Hey, you guys, I love you. <laughs> All right. Tell them. Yeah, I was just trying to give you. Thank you. Okay. What you want? Okay, guys. So, I haven't eaten all day. It's 3 o'clock. 3 p.m. Hungry. Can I just eat? Uh, yeah. Okay. So we have this beef here. I think it's called culat steak, but I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right at all. Yeah. So this is really tender, you guys. I'm looking forward to trying it. And it has some type of chimichurri. Yep. Some type of ch chimichurri sauce on top. So good and moist. Mm. Y'all know how long it's been I had a steak. Wow. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's so tender, you guys. Oh my god. Mm. Help me. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know what to do. I'm this sorry. This is so good. Mm -mm. Now she's eating the crispy onions. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Brazil. Thank you for being born. This is good. What we have here, these are the Brazilian sausages. Do we have any more of these? Right mm here? -hmm. I like, no, yeah, that's fine. You can have it. Mmm. Mmm. Sausage is really good. Mmm. This is bomb. Yeah. There's some kind of, I don't even want to call it pico de gallo, so I don't know if it's called that or not. For the Brazilians, this is what it looks like. It looks somewhat like pico de gallo, but it tastes really good. What is that flavor? Food. <laughs> It's so mm -hmm. good, you guys. Ooh. So this is yucca. That's good. Yucca flour. Right? Yeah. So supposedly this is supposed to be sprinkled on your food or eaten like as a as 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 we eat rice. So I'm just gonna try it. What does it taste like? It's not bad, but I don't Okay. Yucca. This is my first time it's trying cool. this. I wouldn't like eat it, but I feel like it should be sprinkled on something, but I'm not sure. Maybe what. it should be. Yeah. So if you guys eat yucca flour on a regular, let us know what we're supposed to do with this. Do you guys just eat this straight up like this? Do you sprinkle it on stuff? I'm so in love right now. And then this is yucca, mm -hmm. not the flour. So we also have pieces of yucca that they have. I guess sauteed? I don't know how they cook them. Y'all, this is really good. But it reminds me of a potato, but it's harder. It's a lot harder. And I want to thank Stephanie for hipping me to Brazilian food because I felt like I was never going to like it. Mm. I've eaten it before. That's good. Not any of this. Yeah, the place we went to, I always get like this salad that I really love and I never try any of like the authentic dishes so thank you for uh thank you to everybody who requested that we do brazilian food because i would have never tried some of this stuff and so far so good i'm sorry i'm eating my hands i always do spaghetti when we go so never try anything else mm -mm -mm. these are called pau de cuejo i think and they're basically yeah, what are they 
Brazilian cheese breads. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Yeah. I'm in love with Brazil. This is good. What is in the mmm? Mm. I want to dip this in something now. Mm hmm. I need like a sauce, guys. Mashed potatoes. Oh, there you go. Mashed potatoes <laughs> and bread. Mmm. -hmm. Where is this? Mm. I don't know what to do with my life. This is so good, y'all. No, I'm not bull. Now, I know you really love sausages. How do you feel about these compared to? Mm. Compared to, like, the ones we normally eat. Mm -hmm. I think I like the ones I normally eat a little bit better. Mm. The ones I eat, I think, I think they're like Dutch or something. Oh, or German. I'm not sure, but they're good. Mm -hmm. I just like the other ones more. I like these. Can I have some of that drink? I'm not huge on um, sausage. Tasha is. I think I like these better than the ones that we normally buy because it's, the flavor is different. And you know, I like to have different. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like the same stuff all the time. So this is a drink that's native to um, Brazil. Um, in the in the midst of the rainforest, there grows an exotic berry called guarana, and that's what they make this drink from. Um, and it says that on the back. That's how I was able to say all that. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and try this drink, but I'm not gonna drink too much because I don't want to be full because I want to finish off the rest of this food by myself. Oh no, no. this is so good. Hmm. What that? Initially, it tasted like beer. Really? Yeah. Is it alcohol in this? No. It's good. It's good though. It's good. It doesn't have a strong flavor. Mmm. But it's good. I like that. Okay, I want to try this. I don't know. What is this? That's a shrimp croquette. croquette. Oh, really? Mm hmm I like this a lot, you guys. This might be in competition with my ginger beer that I, that I learned I like on the really? Jamaican. Yeah, I like this. Let me show them the shrimp croquette. I'm going to go ahead and bite this and see what it does. Good. It's shrimp and cheese. That's good. That's so good. I see they like cheese a lot. Because I don't think I'm pretty much not every dish, but a lot of these dishes have cheese. You like this? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I ate most of the shrimp out of it, but <laughs> it's good. good. Alright, so we've been eating. Mm -hmm. It's about time that we talk about Brazil. Real quick. Which one what's your favorite? The steak and the potatoes. The steak is bomb. And this, um, yeah, what is in this? I need tomato to make this mixture because I will be making this every day. I love to make this. It's so fresh. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. This is so good, y'all. I'm so happy. It is very good. If you have a Brazilian place around you and you're an American, haven't tried it, please do. And also, one more thing. I'm sure that your food in Brazil is a lot better than what is offered to us. Okay, you guys? So, we would love to be in Brazil eating this, but we have to eat what we are offered. Mm -hmm. If you have any dishes that you guys want to recommend us, we will look for them out, out here and try them. So, please put any suggestions in the comments. But we love your food. Mm -hmm. Okay. We might have a bossa nova in, in Brazil. Mm. No. Okay, mm. so. I'm going to spit a few facts about Brazil that I researched. You Brazilians, let me know if I'm wrong. Or anyone who knows about Brazil, let me know if I'm wrong about any of this. I did get it off the internet. Right. But I researched a couple of sites. And I don't know anything. Tasha got all this, so I'm learning this. I'm learning these facts with you guys. Okay. I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. So, I'll start with letting you guys know that Brazil is the fifth largest country in the world. Um, and the largest country in South America. <clears throat> Their motto is Ordem e Progresso. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Order and progress. That's it in English. 
They speak Portuguese. That's their official language. Brazil contains about 60% of the Amazon rainforest, which is awesome. I wanted to visit so bad, but I'm scared. Let's go. Um, and they have the most species of monkeys in the world. That's awesome. Yeah. I would love to visit Brazil. Mm -hmm. Are you going to go with me? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to walk. I'll meet you there. <laughs> mm. Can you imagine if it was in Brazil right now eating their food? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't come home. I know. That's what I'm like. I feel like once we hit the road and go to one of these places, we are not going to want to come home. Mm -mm. So, I'm sorry. I got some more for you. I don't even know what to eat. So good. Try another one of these. Mm. Mm. Sal Vicente is the oldest city in Brazil. This is something I didn't know. I, I didn't know a lot, but this is interesting. 1.5 to 2.5 million Brazilians are of Japanese descent. Really? Yeah. I didn't read why. Sao Paulo is a city in Brazil, and um, it has the largest economy of any city in the Southern Hemisphere. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Um, I didn't write this down, but I remember it saying that I think now they're the third largest coffee distributor, but they used to be the first at some point, I think in 2003. I'm not 100% sure about that fact. So, Does any place out here like market Brazilian coffee? Starbucks. Oh, uh, her, their coffee is Brazilian? No, they have coffee from different, from everywhere. From Africa, oh. from Brazil, from S Spain or something like that. Oh, I like to try the different ones and see if I taste the difference. Mm -hmm. They have Sumatra, which is, I think that's African, mm -hmm. but um, they have other stuff too. Um, this is an interesting fact. According to a 2007 report, there are at least 70 uncontacted tribes in the Amazon. Um, yeah, in the Amazon. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I would love to meet them. I would love to live with them. You know I know you would. <laughs> That's so awesome. Like they, and, and oh, and Brazil is 100% energy independent. Really? Yes. That's, That's what I heard. That's what it said. Yeah. Wow. Am I just eating your remnants of steak? Probably. I don't even care. It's that good, you guys. It really is. It's Damn. ridiculous. We actually were going to do the mukbang about an hour ago, but we had some workers coming to our apartment to fix some stuff, so we had to wait. And we had to reheat all the stuff, and this meat is still tender as heck. So I'm like, oh my god, how does it taste when we first had it? <laughs> Probably when it just melted in our mouths. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's so good. Mm. 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 They have the world's largest beach. We got about really? Mm-hmm. 24,606 feet long. Do you know the name of it? Baia de Dos Sancho. And they have the most famous and celebrated carnival festival in the world that I'm sure everybody Ooh, knows about know. or a lot of people know about that, yes, we want to go to. I don't know where it is. I wonder if it's in Rio de Janeiro. I think so. I always hear about that. I think it is. So yeah, Brazilians seem like they party like good and hard. Yeah, they seem like it'll be so fun. Yeah, this is so good, so good. There were a couple of items that we wanted to get that they had sold out of, so I'm so I'm kind of sad about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. You guys, like this, mm, this? I don't even know what else to say. I don't know why. I want to taste the fruit that this came from. Mm. You want some? Mm. Yeah. Oh. Look at the soda. Oh, I thought I'm you just looking for something else. Mm -mm. I don't even know what to do anymore, y'all. I'm stuffing myself right now. And I usually do not stuff myself. Oh, man. All this stuff is so good. You guys, I'm, I'm sad. <laughs> I I'm wish sorry. we were at the beginning of the month. Mm. That's so greeny. That, what is it called? The shrimp what? Which one? The oh. thing I just ate? Shrimp go here. It's so good. Ladies first. Mm. Now. Let's try it at the same time. I don't know if it's my first time trying to fly or not, but I'm not a regular eater of fly, so let's see. See how I see how I like I'll it. I'll take a nice big ready fix up, yep. You like y'all know I like milky stuff. Right. I don't mm. really taste the uh, potent flavor. Mm. It's not you know? it's like milky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's something I would want to eat. 
I want it to be more potent. Mm. That's what I want. I want to hold it in my mouth for a long time. I know that's gross. It's not that. And also the texture, I'm not that fond of. So, I'm full, you guys. But we about to go get into another video. Oh, my God, yes. We're doing a marathon today, you guys. So, we can have daily videos for you yeah. guys. So, we're going to have on the same clothes. Yeah. All right, guys. So, we love this food so much. Please let us know what you want us to eat next. Yes. And we will do it. Unless it's duty. Unless it's who? Duty. Like, poop? Like, duty? Yeah, okay. yeah, we're not doing doing that. Yeah. All right, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment. Let us know what you guys think. And until next time.